Hey Sienna. Hello. I'm struggling a little bit and I need help figuring out like what to eat for breakfast. What did you eat for breakfast? What did I have for breakfast? Uh, I made banana toast, an avocado egg sandwich, and some pumpkin spice overnight. So if you want to learn how to make these, just click on my face. Bye. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I like thumbs ups. And also, I'm currently having a giveaway going on where I give away a MacBook Pro, an iPad Mini, and a GoPro camera. I will have it linked down below. You should, you should enter it. And if you want to learn how to make these back to school lunch ideas, then keep watching. Now to make spaghetti cupcakes, it's way better than it sounds, you preheat your oven to 350 degrees and then put some water inside of a pot and boil it on the stove. Once the water is boiled, put a half a container of spaghetti inside of it, let that cook, and once it's cooked, strain it. Once you've done that, you're gonna beat three eggs. Oh my god, the egg is frozen. What the heck? So is that one. Just beating my frozen eggs. And then take about a half a cup of Parmesan cheese and mix it with the eggs, and then mix the spaghetti with that. Now take a container for cupcakes and grease it so nothing gets stuck and just put the spaghetti inside of it, kind of like a cupcake. It, see, it's way better than it sounds. Then put whatever toppings you want. I just like sauce and cheese, so I went with that. Put it in the oven for about 15 minutes and then when it's done, take it out, let it sit for five minutes and then put it in your lunchbox. I'd make this the night before if I were you. I like to put other things with my lunch, so I took some of my favorite fruits and then an applesauce and put it on the other side. And voila, mix it with the water and you're done. Now for the quote unquote sandwich sushi, roll a piece of bread and then put your favorite sandwich things on top. You could do peanut butter jelly. I just put a pickle, lettuce, and turkey. And roll it up and then cut it up into little pieces and then put it into like a sushi container that they would give you from the Chinese restaurants. It's way more fun that way. And then take some ketchup as the soy sauce type of thing. And then I like to put some other few things. So I put some crackers and some peanut butter. Now for the breadless sandwich and avocado salad lunch. You want to peel a cucumber and cut it in half and take all the insides out with a spoon. Then take any topping. I like tuna fish, so I put tuna fish inside of that breadless sandwich and I topped it off with the other half of the cucumber and cut it in half. Now for the avocado salad. Isaac taught me how to do this one. You cut an avocado in half and take out the middle. Then you flip them over and you cut a really thin slit through the avocado so that you could just peel off the other side of the avocado. When I looked at this, I literally was like, oh my God. Now cut the avocado into slices and put it in the bowl. This is like guacamole, but it's just way better than it. So mix it with some lemon and some salt and mix it up until it's really creamy and then put it in the container and put some crackers on the other side. Now this is just a basic one. Put some chips inside of mason jar, take some salsa out of a little container and then just top the mason jar off and then voila, these are all our lunches. Now click the screen or the link down below to see Sienna's back to school breakfast ideas. They're all healthy and really good and also make sure to subscribe to her. I'll have everything linked down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and also make sure to subscribe right over there if you haven't subscribed already. And also if you missed my previous two videos, you should probably watch those because they're fun. I love you guys so much.